You're all right, lads. So today we're going to be reviewing Oleg Shatov of Senex in Petersburg. He's five foot eight tall, right footed, so a high medium weight rate, a four star weak foot, and four star skills. His current price ranges are only six hundred and fifty coins to ten k as well. So looking at his in games, his standout is 91 sprint speed, 83 acceleration, 83 agility, 82 ball control and 82 dribbling. And he does also have the technical dribbler trait on him as well. So you can always pause it for a close look at any of these stats now. So now to the gameplay, as you can see, we was performing for me. Now Shatov has had a really, really great upgrade from last season. From a silver card last season, straight up to an 80 rated gold. So massive improvement. And he is a little cracker of a player out on the left. Brilliant pace with 91 sprint speed so no problems uh, speed wise no problems in the pace department and he does have some quality dribbling as well to go with and his dribbling does honestly feel a lot better than his 82 uh, rating on his card does suggest was awesome cutting in from that left wing using that skill dribble to lose his markers does have those four star skills to throw into the mix as well which can come in handy although the Ronaldo chop it's not working for me this year it is really slow Berber spin it is still fine, still can use that one. And his ability to beat those defenders does give him a hell of a lot of opportunities on goal. Now he was always coming short from the corners, so he can take advantage of his dribbling. Get the ball straight from the corner and a lot of time beat the first defender. You straight through on goal and he did finish well. Often just tucking it round the keeper. Now we didn't get any stunning goals, no long ranges, anything like that. His shooting wasn't that good but he did take his chances well. Using that dribbling always got into a nice chance where it's just a little tap, a little finesse round the keeper. Nice finishes on Shatov. No complaints really in the finishing department. In the box that is. Did take his chances well on both sides does have that four star weak foot which did feel good so it does make him a cracking versatile little winger and he did have a pretty impressive goal record from that left wing as well so saying that, let's have a look at his performance stats. So in nine games, he did manage to bang in seven goals, did grab two assists for himself as well. All stats are on the left. All goal information is on the right there. That bottom right is a position map, does show you goals scored and where those assists were created from as well. So overall, we're giving Oleg Shatov a nine out of 10. Massive upgrade from last year. Really does make him so, so good on that left wing with that pace and dribbling. He is a constant, constant threat. He was always getting through for me. He may not have the best shooting in the world, but he still managed to tuck the balls home around the keeper. He did get those goals. So he shouldn't be disappointed in the goal scoring department. And his passing was good as well. So good for linking up down that left and can put a decent cross in. And he does have that four star weak foot, four star skill combo on him as well. Really love using him. Real fun player to use with that great dribbling. A definite, definite must have for a Russian league team. So finally, we're just going to leave with Shatov's positive and negative for you to have a look at. Now, he does have a lot of positives to his game, which we have gone over mostly in the review. The only real negatives uh, with Shatov are his jumping and heading. He's not the tallest. He's not going to be winning you many headers if he drifts into the box at the back post. But that's not a major factor. Being a left winger, he's not going to be getting that many chances to get headers anyway. And he could do with a touch more strength. 66 is all right. Sometimes he did get out muscled when he did get uh, swamped with defenders. And the only other possible issue is his stamina. If you like to sprint constantly in the game, if you're sprinting back, sprinting forward, he will get tired come the end of the match, especially if it goes into extra time. He's going to be absolutely knackered and picking up injuries. For me, none of them are actually major problems. They don't really take away from him too much. And as we said, a definite must-try player in the Russian League. For me, the best left winger in the Russian League, even over that inform Musa as well. So please smash a like if you did enjoy the review. Loads more in-depth play reviews and squad builders to come. We are actually going to be doing a squad builder on this Russian league team that we uh, played Shatov in and Hulk as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. I really do appreciate it. Cheers, lads. See you later.